And if you spend yourselves in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like noonday. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will rise up the age-old foundations. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwellings. Hi, I'm Noah Farah. Hi, my name is Judy. My name is Calvin Preston-Karcher. Hi, my name is Brenda Ray. Hey, my name is Lisa Preston-Karcher. My name is Doug Barnes. This year in Guatemala, I was praying about how to convey my time here. And we've come down to construct houses, build playgrounds, work on churches. When we were in Zapote, we tore down two structures and it didn't even take us an hour. And we re rebuilt houses, which we would call garden sheds in Canada. But they were houses for family of six and seven and who knows how many. But those people were thankful, very thankful. What is one thing that broke your heart this trip? I think the trip to Zapote because we spent three days there and we got to see the poverty in that community. Something that kind of struck me as, or kind of impact me, is that at the amount of poverty sometimes around here, and not just even what we saw in Zapote, but even just locally, um, that they have so little maybe compared to us, and that yet that they have a lot more hope in Jesus and able to endure maybe through it all. A highlight of my trip was we worked with the kids at the school a little bit and did some daughters and stuff, and that was just so amazing. There's hope for you again, like four little pieces of time to drop like ten moves, like swarming, so funny. What is most satisfying, what impacts me the most on these trips? And that's a very easy one for me. Uh, it's seeing the kids in school. I mean, these, the, the school is simply amazing. These kids get taught the love of God here. They have a creator who loves them and who has a hope for them and a future for them. And it's amazing to see that in action. But they also get nutrition. They get a couple meals a day. These kids are the poorest of the poor. They wouldn't, some of them wouldn't even get um, two meals a day if it wasn't for the school. Of course, there's that whole aspect of school. They, you know, they're learning languages, they're learning writing, they're learning mathematics, history. So they've got all that. And then, of course, there's um, some basic health care they get as well. So to me, it's just so satisfying to see these kids at school and, and getting a future. We spent um, a couple of days in Zapote tearing down homes and building new ones. We've uh, worked on a playground in San Lucas at the church. We've been here in Membriel with pinatas today, moving dirt and pine rebar, and so much more. Oh, it's been an amazing trip. Dios te bendiga. Adiós.